All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here with another Exercise Index video. Today I am, Man I am in Manchester, England, and we're at Frontline Fit Performance. This is a sick gym, this is an awesome gym. And what we wanted to show you today is a shoulder, shoulder exercise that works a lot of different heads of your delt. So it's not what you call like an isolation exercise for the front of your delt or the side of your posterior. It's a really cool exercise that Eugene likes to use a lot. So he's already had me do some of these. I had to test them out first before we put them in the exercise index. And I'm happy to report they feel awesome. Fantastic. So Eugene's gonna walk you through what this feels like or what the execution should look like. So here we go. Sure. Okay, so you wanna be probably about 45, just below a 45 degree incline, but we're as comfortable for you. Lying on your side and probably put your arm, depending how big your arms are, when you've got big biceps like John, that's a really nice pillow. If you don't, cradle your arm under your head there to support your neck. And position your feet wherever's most comfortable. Maybe forwards, maybe back, one leg forward, one le leg back, maybe both up on the bench as well. Find your own comfortable position. All you're gonna do is a typical rear delt raise in front of your body directly overhead perpendicular to the floor and then come down behind your hips as far as you can go then raise them back up drawing a big big circle common fault here is to collapse the circle and draw a smaller circle so make sure you really reach as far overhead as you can to really open up through the through the mid back and that thoracic spine to get that little bit of rotation so I call these dumbbell or side-lying dumbbell compound laterals because we're doing more of a compound-based movement, trying to target a few different areas through the shoulders and through the mid-back. I normally do these for sets of about 8 to 15 on one side and then go back and forth side to side until my arms fall off. I think we're getting to that point right now. Raising up, keep that super, super high. Let's do one more rep all the way back behind and back forwards again as well. Complete that rep and down. Uh, awesome. Uh, that crushes your rear delt too. Yeah. Crushes your rear delt, so. <laughs> That's a good one. My rear delt is really fried, but as I continue to go, the side lateral actually um, feel that lighten up too, so. Mm -hmm. Real good exercise, it works a lot of your shoulder. So sets and reps, like three, three or four sets? I honestly, it's, so, it's, it's a lot of movement. It's a very quick, easy isola isolation slash compound movement. I normally do sets of eight, and I'll do eight sets of eight back to back. And I'll run through that in about four or five minutes. Okay. And that's a disgusting shoulder and upper back. Do you like pump. to do these earlier in the workout or a little bit later? I'll do this towards the finisher. Finisher. A really, okay. really good finisher. Maybe after your typical presses, after your typical rows, or maybe on an upper back day, and just as a finishing movement. And then at that point, you might not have much left in you to do minimal isolation exercises. But it's a very efficient way to be training. And that's actually what we did today. We just did some really heavy pressing for uh, chest and shoulders, so it worked out just perfect. All right, that's it. So appreciate you watching, and Eugene and I will see you next time.